amazing set last night. So if you could just tell us a bit about how you started performing and when you first started performing. Um, I first started performing when I was 22, mm -hmm. but it was by accident. Actually, I was studying English at La Sorbonne University in Paris. Oh. Because I wanted to be a teacher, wow. and, uh, but I was not attending class as much as I should have. <laughs> <laughs> and a friend of mine um, knew a band mm -hmm. that needed a singer, uh, a vocal singer, uh, woman or man. Mm -hmm. And she said, okay, just go to the audition because you're losing your time, you're wasting wow. your time here. So I went there, mm -hmm. and I didn't expect to be chosen, but I was chosen, and that's how I started. Wow. But and, actually, mm -hmm. I felt so much comfortable. I had like, um, I don't know, comme une révélation, you say in French. Mm -hmm. like, okay, I knew I had to do this. Mm -hmm. That's wow. where I started. <laughs> yeah, you could tell. Um, yeah, so and, and, and I was, mm -hmm. at first I was doing backing vocals okay. for uh, funk bands. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time that I was you know, listening to funk music, because I was more into uh, into classic, jazz, oh. folk music. I love uh, Tom Waits. Mm -hmm. Uh, Leonard Cohen mm -hmm. and Nina Simone yeah. and Debussy, Chopin, Ravel, but I was not listening to, to funk music, so that's how I, you know, I met funk music. Wow, it's interesting that you said Nina Simone because like she to me, you know, as great as she was as a pianist and as a singer, she was just an incredible performer. Yeah. So I feel like you draw from all of those people that you said into your, your performance yesterday. Yeah, actually, I, um, you know, some, sometimes people ask me about uh, what are my influences. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not so much about the music, but how you you express yourself through music. Mm -hmm. And and Nina Simone especially, um, you know, when I was younger, I didn't think I would be a singer, but she was the only voice that I could understand mm -hmm. and that I could fit in, mm -hmm. that I could really feel. Yeah. Uh, I would cry listening to her or, you know, start mm -hmm. dance. And because I could feel she was free mm -hmm. in a way, you know, through music she was free. Absolutely. And that's what I wanted to be. I want right. to be free, I want to be me as much as I can. Absolutely. Um, do you write your own songs? Yeah, I write my own lyrics, my own music. And I, um, the last album I wrote it with Jérôme Dru, okay. who plays food with me. Mm -hmm. And we produced the album together. And you know, it's really a family affair. What's the, the album called? Nothing for Granted. Okay, and why did you, what was the meaning behind that title? And Actually, Nothing for Granted is a, is a song that I wrote a few years ago, but I was not ready to sing it. Mm -hmm. uh, it talks about how you you have to learn to let somebody go. Because mm. my mother died and I was not ready oh. to let her go. Okay. So I wrote this song, but I was not ready to sing it. Mm -hmm. And I thought it, the time had come for me to really let her go. And that would be a way to let her live. Mm -hmm. Really through me, through my music, mm -hmm. through my life, mm -hmm. and 
and nothing for granted is uh, represents all all the strength that we have to to pull off to to make choices of our own. Yeah. It, it talks about everyday struggle mm -hmm. you know, to to get peace, mm -hmm. to get respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because nothing for granted. You have really to to fight to stand up for. You are, especially Absolutely. when you're a woman. Absolutely. And especially when you're a black woman. Mm -hmm. Shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I feel lucky enough to be uh, uh, independent, to be an artist, to be um, a friend, to be a mother, to be alive, to to be able to tour the world. And, wow. And, and to freely speak my mind. Mm -hmm. so, how do you balance, you know, is it easy to, to balance sort of? Mom and I have no motherhood. problem with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I, I'm lucky because I, I have a, a great family and I have mm -hmm. great friends mm -hmm. who sometimes take care of my children when I'm yeah. not there. But yeah. you know, people ask me, "Oh, how do you manage the schedule?" and, and blah blah blah. I mean, I love music. Mm -hmm. I love my work. I love my job. Mm -hmm. I love my friends. Mm -hmm. And I love my family. Yeah. And it never occurred to me that I had to choose between. Me. One or the one other, or you know, it's, it just mingles simply. Yeah. I want to be there to take them to school, mm -hmm. to do their homework, to mm -hmm. cook a pie. When <laughs> they cry, I, I want to be there, but yeah. then I need to write my songs and they mm -hmm. totally understand. Mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no struggle between the two of us. Wow. Yeah. And how do they feel seeing mommy perform on stage? They, yeah, they're kind of happy. Yeah, but I make sure that they, they come and see us mm -hmm. as much as they can, mm -hmm. even though they have to go to school. You know? Right. Like, if we have kids like around Paris, mm -hmm. I ask them, "You want to come?" Yeah. They don't have to come. Mm -hmm. If they want to come, they can come. Mm -hmm. And um, my daughter, she she started a, a design a design school. Oh. And she loves it. And my son, he's uh, he's learning uh, drums and, and guitar, mm -hmm. and he's playing handball. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> and you know, they they are free to to listen to music, to make some music, mm -hmm. and to do whatever they they feel like doing. It's, yeah. um, we're trying to be as much uh, open-minded as we can. Mm -hmm. It's not always simple, but right. it's fun. Yeah, I think that's something that we we definitely lost, especially in the states. That you mentioned, like the freedom in in when we perform. Like you talk a little bit more about when you say that you just want to be free, as as especially as a performer. Like how important that is for you. Yeah, it's really important because actually, it, it, I think it comes from my from my upbringing uh, from my mother because she was not a singer, she was not an actress, she was. But she was crazy. She was totally free. You know, mm. she would like stand up on a on a table and start dancing. <laughs> she felt like. Singing. And when I started singing, I also met um, actresses and and directors. And uh, I played in a play. Mm -hmm. And she she came and see me and, and she said, okay, if you really want to do this job. You have to work hard, wow. but you have to be wild, mm -hmm. really wild. Just mm -hmm. go, go and do it for real. Yeah. Don't just try. Don't hesitate. Mm -hmm. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. Even if it doesn't feel, you know, like it's perfect. Yeah. At, at the first time. <laughs>
Come and blow us away in the states, or <laughs> what's next? Uh, expect, please, don't expect anything. I don't know, um, except that uh, I hope I'll be able to come with the, with the guitar band mm -hmm. after crazy, mm -hmm. and we're lucky enough to really love each other. And I think it's important because when I write songs mm -hmm. about people struggling, mm -hmm. I feel it's important that this feeling is felt in the yeah. band. You know, they're not just playing uh, yeah. behind me. Yeah. They can feel the music, they yeah. can feel the, the meaning of the songs. Mm -hmm. They all sing and they are all into into this purpose, you know, that yeah. we have to get together and together we're really stronger. Wow. And I really feel that. And yeah, I think you, you would expect um, much energy, craziness, some dance. <laughs> And uh, some style. It's absolutely. Style. Oh my god. Boom, boom, boom. Don't worry about yesterday. Keep on shining and shining. And don't worry about yesterday. A brand new day is coming. Don't worry about yesterday. Keep on shining and shining. 